<laughs> um, so today, and we've been putting this off for like two weeks. Today, we are going to discuss how we can make him financially stable and so that he never has to go through the whole getting into large amounts of debt like my um, his father and I have. So um, he got a job at McDonald's. Um, it's just a little starter job. He doesn't have a whole lot of um, things that he has to take care of right now as long as he's living with us. The only thing that we require him to do is make his car payment pay his share of the insurance, pay his share of the cell phone bill, make sure that he's paying his own Xbox stuff, and then, you know, putting gas and maintaining his car. So, that's kind of what we're going to discuss today. I am not a professional, um, what do you call it, um, financial advisor. I am far, I'm like... This is financial advisory up all the way up here, and this is where I'm at. I'm just a, a, a baby when it comes to finances because I suck at it. But I do have a lot of knowledge, and I know that I can steer him in the right direction so that he doesn't make the same mistakes. you got to stop doing that. That's a lot of chair. So that he doesn't make the same mistakes that I do um, when it comes to finances. So, with that being said... We're just going to jump on into it and talk about all the things that you need to pay for. Um, how do you feel about the cash stuffing? I mean, um, I mean, I think it's a good idea. Yeah. But. Especially, I think it's a good idea when you're first new at, um, finances mm -hmm. because you know where your limits are you know your brother and your sister not to throw them under the bus when they got their accounts they just put all their money in they didn't track what was in their accounts they just said oh well I know what's in there but then they have things bouncing so anytime like if I don't keep track of what's in my bank account if I go usually I'm on there every day checking what I've got in my account mm -hmm. just to keep track and make sure that I didn't forget something um, but anytime I've ever gone without checking and doing all that, I've had things bouncing, you know, not getting paid and things like that. So I definitely encourage you to, you know, keep a check register and I can teach you how to do that. Um, <clears throat> so that you don't screw up your bank account. Um, so what your bills are as of right now, when you get your, you finally get your driver's license, um, your insurance is going to go up but for now your car payment is you know basically 257 your insurance is 110 your cell phone portion is 60 your xbox is 1822 plus you have to have gas um and then i would encourage you to save for car maintenance because it is a car you know an old, a used car and you don't have a warranty on it so you definitely need to sock money away for <clears throat> um, car maintenance. Now, if it's a big car maintenance and we can afford to, you know, help you a little bit, then we would most certainly, because if you, you know, you're still living at home and still working at McDonald's or whatever, you're not going to have a ton of money. Um, and we don't mind helping you if we can. So, but you definitely need to save up for that. Um, the other things that you would be responsible for, um, are your clothing, you know, like socks, underwear, you know, the whole nine yards. Um, and then, you know, you like to do your gaming and things like that. So, um, I think for envelopes, in my opinion, you would need, um, car, insurance, and cell phone. Mm -hmm. And then, um, you definitely would need gas. So, car, insurance, gas, cell phone. And your car, I think if you put $60 in to fill it up, 
I think it's all you're doing is going back and forth to work. I think $60 a month would be sufficient. However, I definitely encourage you to save double that for a month just in case. Like, what if you wanted to go up north to see your girlfriend or whatever? Mm -hmm. Then you would have the extra money to do that. Um, so, um, I also think that you should have a clothing one. What other envelopes do you think you might need to save your money? You're not going to have a whole lot um, to save, so it's going to be a really hard... At least for now. Right. Um, so it'll be kind of small amounts, which it's fine. you got to start somewhere. Even if you're putting a dollar in and then 10 weeks later or 10 paydays later, you only have $10, but it's enough to get you a pair of socks that you need. Mm -hmm. You know, at least you're not opening up a line of credit or borrowing money or whatever. You can pay for it yourself and you don't have to worry about, um, you know, the stress because you're saving for it. So, what other things do you feel like? Oh, car maintenance. We do need a car yeah. maintenance. I think I saw that one. I'm looking at something else. Um, <laughs> what about an emergency? Yes, okay. emergency. And I think um, you could probably do that. Just call your savings account an emergency. Fund. You could just put that money in there because I think we had talked about it the other day that maybe you would put like 10% for now into your savings. Mm -hmm. Is that something that you want to continue doing or do you want to back it down to 5% since now you have all these other categories that you want to put um, into? I think for now doing it. 10%? Yeah. Okay. And then... Um, Anything else? Mm. What I, can think of. I mean, gaming is is a category. Um, you're gonna switch the Xbox, the 1822 for your Xbox, to your account, so it will no longer come out of my account, and it's gonna come out like on the first. So we gotta do that soon. Sure. Um, but I do think that you know that you can leave in your account, but I think you should have an envelope for gaming um, so that you can save up for gaming things mm -hmm. instead of, oh, I've got an extra $20 in my account, let me spend that on this game versus saving up for the gaming then going and buying like an Xbox card or whatever and putting that on your account. And the reason why I say that is because if you don't save up for it and then you're just save, spending the $20 that's left in your account every single time and then you have an emergency and you don't have any money, mm -hmm. but if you save for the gaming specifically and intentionally, then you know you have that money. You can go to the, the Speedway and get your Xbox card and then put it on your account and then you don't feel guilty about it because you saved for it. And then you still have money in your bank account or your other accounts for, you know, if you blow a tire, you've got tire money. Um, is there a cat in here? I don't know. I don't know what that was. <laughs> I heard something. I heard what? <laughs> it might have been out there. Maybe. But um, plus you'll have um, every year you have to do your tags on your car. So that's probably going to be like 60 bucks every year. So that would come out of your, basically your maintenance. Um, and then we're going to switch cell phone providers as soon as Verizon releases us from our contract, you know, our hostage situation with Verizon. <laughs> and then we're going to switch to Spectrum. So mm -hmm. that will get smaller. Yeah. That'll probably hopefully go down to half for you. So that'll be a big help for you and us because... Golly, 250 I think it is. Hmm? Yeah, it says 240 $240 for four phones. And Kimpton is not, not even using a phone because he broke his phone. So yeah. for almost a year now, we've been paying on a phone that works. we don't have. Yeah. But we can't. there's nothing we can do about it because if we cancel it, then we just have to pay for it anyway. So. Mm -hmm. 
of spectrum, there's not really a contract, I don't think. But even if there is, it's half the price, so. It's not a debt. Right. So, uh, I think I will make you these envelopes. I don't know. Do you want a binder? Yeah, that's fine. Because I have a black one and I have a white one. Yeah, that would probably make you too. Or I have this one. Mm. And there's this black one. Yeah, I think I'll use the black one. And the black one? Yeah. But you can put, you know, cards and other things and if you get checks, you can put your checks down there and stuff like that. So I'll make that up for you. Okay. You have a specific request on whoops. Your envelopes. You know, since the little boys Yeah, they have the they have their fancy envelopes. Um Um, I guess the Star Wars theme. Star Wars theme? You yeah. got it. Alright. Alright, what else do we need to discuss about finances? Do you have any questions or thoughts or comments? Um, I'm not trying to push you into doing something that you don't want to do, but I don't want you to be um, in a tough spot like we are right now. Ugh. Um... Not that I could think of, um, because I get the, I, I mean, I understand the basic gist, like, you know, you always have, like, save up and all that, and that's how you're not getting in debt and getting behind, so. Right. I don't think there's anything that I can think of. Okay. Um, and then when we, I'll get your envelopes done, and we will... See, the car payment is due on the 15th. The insurance is due on the 4th. And then the cell phone is due like the 28th-ish. So we'll need to make sure that um, we're getting those accomplished. So you actually have a bill due in like a few days. Um, another bill due in like a few days. You get paid again on the 31st or the 1st or something. If we can get your... Um, auto deposit done um, then your money should be in there but we'll have to take money out we'll have to go to the bank take money out and then so what we'll do once I get all this done I'll make you budget sheets and I'll make you a check register um, unless we can get one from the bank we might be able to get one from the bank a little tiny one that will fit right in here because they look like you, I don't have them because I do all of my stuff on online in Google Sheets but you'll need something that you can have right in front of you you can't really I mean you could probably do Google Sheets on your, your computer but um, it'd probably be more convenient for you to have it in your mind yeah yeah um so then we'll do a budget with me, um, and then we'll go to the bank and get your cash out, and then we'll do a cash stuffing, your first cash stuffing, um, and then we'll just do it again when you get paid again, because Dad's going to get paid Wednesday, and I think mm. you got paid the same week he got paid. Yeah, it was Thursday. Yeah, so. so then we'll do the same thing over again. We'll do a budget with me and a cash stuffing, and then you can hand over money your bills well you can hand over money for the two bills that are due um, at the end of the month and the beginning of the month and then you can just save because like half of that yeah you have all those already don't you you have your phone don't you have yeah. a calculator so basically if you did like eighty dollars a month in gas all your other bills, not including the ones that are extra, like uh, clothing and car, and car maintenance mm -hmm. and your emergency savings, 
monthly it's like five twenty four five hundred twenty four dollars and thirty two cents is your monthly debt. So divide that by two because essentially you're gonna get paid twice a month. $262.16. So out of every paycheck, you have to have that much money. So $263 out of every paycheck, you have to save that much money to at least get your bills paid. And then everything above that goes towards clothing, maintenance, and emergency, and gaming. Okay. So you just have to decide how much. Before you take all your money out, you would transfer your 10% into your emergency fund and then you would leave like your 1822 when we do your next um when we do your budget with me you would just leave the 1822 in your bank um and then the rest of it you would probably take out in cash because i know you've probably bought a game i know you said you were buying a game did you buy a game um, it wasn't a game, it was actually a pick for this, a few things for, a game. <laughs> like, maintenance for your game, or what is it called? Not maintenance, um, upgrades? Updates? What is it? Like, like a new pew pew for your character? <laughs> Listen, I'm not judging, because I like doing, uh, power packs and things like that for the games I play, so I get it. I'm not, whoops, not judging at yeah, all. That wasn't supposed to stick. No, it wasn't. So hopefully you haven't spent all your money. I did not. Okay. Well, I spent three fifty like I spent like between like three fifty like I said. Okay. That's all that's the that's all I'm gonna spend on that spending fine. more for now. We will we will um look and see how much is left. And then we'll just use that as your starting point. Because um, I said that that would be okay as long as you had a certain amount of money left over. Um, so, but your check was, did you ever move the money into your savings account? No, it's in my checking. Okay. So your check was a certain amount. And then you'll do the 10% on that certain amount. And you'll put that in the savings and then whatever, whatever's left... And we'll, we'll work that out when we do the um, budget with me, but um, yeah, we'll get it figured out. But I definitely think this is the right move to teach you how, now that you have a job, it's easier to teach you how to do it, um, to just keep you from, you know, really screwing up like we have. So, thanks for talking with me. Yeah. All right. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the series. This is going to be a new series within my um, thing, without within my channel um, because I'm hoping that it will help people his age to when as they're starting out to you know start out better instead of you know screw up from the start. Um, <laughs> so we'll see. Maybe eventually he'll just take it over and do his own YouTube channel and do his own stuff. Or I'll just force him to keep doing it on my channel. <laughs> but he's a good sport. So <laughs> Thank you for watching. I hope you guys have a blessed day. I love you. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, do all the things. I've not been very active, so my subscriber... Um, list has gone down. I've lost subscribers because I haven't been very active. So if you're not subscribed and you want to watch Hayden figure out how to pay bills, <laughs> make sure you subscribe so that you get notifications um, so that you can watch and see how he grows. <laughs>